All right. So today is May Day. And so May Day is when we send out the uh, SOS for strategies for soloing, strategies on soloing, SOS. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, what do I do? What do I do when I have to play a solo? Well, you want to further the rhythm and further the groove, and we're talking about a blues or a swing solo. And you want to, uh, some people have an idea and some people don't have an idea, but it's good to start with an idea. And what I do is, I kind of have a starting point and then I let it lead me, but we have things that we fall into. And Southwest blues and swing is riff based, and a riff is a repeating figure or motif. And so you can quote something, you can quote a song like a choo 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 boogie. Yeah. So I've repeated it, and it's a riff, and then we can go. So what's great about playing uh, any swing or blues bass stuff is that we flat the three. That's the three in the key of G is B. And when we go up to the four chord, we just, instead of playing B, play B flat. B flat is the seventh of the four. So all theory aside, it just it's just easy because you play the figure and then you uh, you flat it. Now when you can run into a little problem, don't fight it. Just go somewhere else. Uh, path of least resistance. So when we have. Now we have kind of an awkward figure. it just go we want to keep the rhythm and the feel going and then back to and then uh, then you can slop your way through the five that was too clean probably 